Hey guys, today I wanted to talk about what it was like, or what it is like to be in a relationship with another vegan. Vegan to vegan relationship. Now I already made a video in the past about my experience being a vegan with a non-vegan, so this is kind of a more positive um, story for me. Um, I was friends with Dare, the Adjusted American, for a good year. Um, we were just friends. He was not a vegan, and neither was I at the time. Um, he was a pescatarian, and I was a vegetarian. And um, we were both in the um, YouTube community. I was mainly an observer and a watcher of live Google Hangouts, and he was um, a panelist on some, and he he hosted his own so I mean it was a lot of fun just you know communicating with everybody and um, he was 60 pounds heavier at the time and I was in a relationship with that non-vegan at the time and um, you know through through time he started working on himself more he became a vegan um, he says because um, partially not all but partially because I had called him out about um, loving animals yet he still was eating some you know ie fish and um, that kind of you know challenged him to just become a vegan and um, I had given myself a six month deadline to become a, a vegan from a vegetarian and I think it was three or four months I was a vegetarian when he had let me know that I encouraged him um, by making that comment to become a vegan. So then at that point, I was like, well, damn, you know, I got up my game. And so I became a vegan. And um, that kind of bonded us as friends even more because the community that we were involved in had nothing to do with veganism. If anything, it was a gun community. Um, and so it, it we were just kind of felt like we were two unique snowflakes in the sea of everybody's, you know, pretty much into the same other things. So, um, through time, uh, my relationship at the time did not work out. I have a video about that. And, um, he was single. And after my relationship ended, we became more personal and, you know, exchanged numbers and, you know, started texting, and then it became about meeting, and it was so exciting, just the possibilities, and I'm telling you, this was just a friend that I had no, I had no idea that I was going to fall head over heels in love with this guy, really, especially from back then when, you know, he was 60 pounds heavier, he was argumentative well he'll argue with me about that saying no I wasn't argumentative I was just you know I was just you know calling the sky blue when it's blue you know holding people accountable that is in his nature and I remember back then me thinking to myself listening to um, a debate going on between him and a couple other people and I was thinking dang this guy he just he does not let up man he does not concede one point he does. He he can go on. He has enough stamina to debate for hours and hours. And I was thinking, man, the poor chick that's with him. I could never be with someone like him. And then now look at me. I'm in a relationship with him. Um. Anyway, uh, after we finally met in person, it was pretty much you know, yep, yep. We're we are in love, and we cannot deny this. And um. Oh, it's just awesome. I'm just, I, I'm just, I'm so happy. Um, I'm sorry, I'm distracted because I'm not sure if the volume's on. Anyway, okay, so um, after we met, I mean, it's obvious, okay, one of us has to move to be together, and I decided to be the one because he was already established. And I was just finding myself in a place of, wow, my kids are grown. They're on their own now. Um, I'm here just to watch them live when I, sh I should start living myself. Because, you know, my whole adult life has been happily a mother 
and a caregiver to my kids and a homeschooler and all that and they were already in their 20s so it's like okay they've flown the nest so to speak so it's time for you to like actually become an adult like that that just does your thing you know I do my own thing so um so I came to California not my favorite place in the world I was born and raised here and um yeah it's there's just it's different than Washington. I loved it so much there. Aesthetically, it's just so beautiful, and the air is crisp, and I didn't mind the rain, and all this and that. But coming here for to be with my love has been something I will never regret. Um, I am so happy. He, he brought me to myself again, and he says the same, that I brought him to himself again we were both pretty much lost and in finding each other we just should have been with each other in our 20s we would have been able to have a family and just lived a whole different life together um, but you know you can't go back in time at least not that I'm aware of so we just got to do what we got to do now, what we can control now. And what we can control now is to make the best of life, to live by our own set of rules, not by societies, to just be together. This is great. It's, there's never a hassle about food. There's never, if anything, we hold each other accountable when you know, we both go through our phases of wanting to just like junk out on vegan junk food or we go on these um, tangents of going to restaurants and they're, you know, how vegan restaurants are, lots of salt, lots of sugar, lots of, you know, <laughs> crap. And, and we'll get in a tangent of going to a bunch of those and it's fun and we, we just like the company of being together. He gets busy with his schedule, and so we spend a lot of time apart during the day. And I'm doing my own thing, and he's doing his own thing, and then we come together every night, and it's just like, I still get butterflies knowing that he's coming home when he sends me that text and lets me know that he's on his way. I, I just, I melt. I melt for this guy. I love him so much. And... If you're not happy in a relationship, consistently unhappy in a relationship, you you got to ask yourself, what are you doing? Like people should be happy. There is love for everybody. Everybody can find love. There's somebody out there for everyone. And just because you've been in love before and it didn't work out doesn't mean that that was the only love like we as humans can love more than one person and if that if that was the case that you can only love one person in your life then oh my gosh my first husband <laughs> like we're so different there's just no way I mean I you know I don't know it's great I I really really am happy and I can't wait to see like what's in store for us down the road. Like he brought me to myself again and he says that I brought him to himself again and I just can't wait to see what happens next with us. Um it's just there's never an argument over food. There's never In the past, in past relationships, I've kind of been left to myself, like, not because of schedule, not because of work, not because of things like that, but there's no, there was no real-time relationship, and what I mean by that is, in the moment, you, you, you really talk to each other, you talk to each other, and when you're feeling a certain way about something, you say it, you don't hold it in, and then explode later it's 
you talk about it, you check in with each other in the moments. You don't start holding resentments towards each other. It's completely unhealthy. Um, I know because I've screwed up so many times just trying to be what that person expected from me. What they're expects from me is to be legitimate, to be true to who I am, to not fake a front with him, to not um, hold back. He says, don't edit yourself. I appreciate that. And I told him from the very beginning, do not white knight me. Do not um, treat me like I am a delicate flower girl. Like, don't treat me like that. Don't treat me like a man either. Just treat me uh treat me as i deserve to be treated in that moment you know i can hold my own weight i can do my own thing i can think for myself um just continue to respect that and he always has and i respect him and when he says stuff that you know that make me really worry because he's, you know, he does, he doesn't, he does not back down ever. And, um, I'm not talking about to me, I'm talking to society, to all the bullshit out there. This is why I say he's an anarchist because he does not, he does not follow the code, the law, the, you know, he, the authority, he, he doesn't. And I, I, it totally turns me on at the same time. It scares me because, um, People say that all the time, like, oh, well, you know, I do what I want and this and that, but then in the end they fucking bow down because they're scared. He's not that guy. Totally not that guy. And so I know being with him, I, I get what I see. There's no hidden anything. He does not edit himself. Um, he's like, I, I'm, I'm really, I'm with a real man and he's, he's manly and I, I love him and I appreciate him for that. Um, I, I just, I couldn't be happier and I can't wait to the future and I, I'm totally rambling because now I'm at 12 minutes and 30 seconds. So I'm going to end this being in a relationship with another vegan. is fucking awesome. Um, it's the greatest thing ever relationship wise. I feel like I'm alive again. I'm alive for the first time in a different way. Um, Man, dude, I'm, I'm just, I'm going to be with him always. I'm just, this is it. This is it for me. I, I can't even, I can't even, gosh, I can't even look at anybody else. It's just, he's everything. He's everything for me. And, um, yeah. So anyways, um, if you have any ideas of what you want from me in this channel I don't know I'm kind of I was kind of thinking of just like stop making videos because I don't know just I get burned out and I don't even I can't even imagine how the daily vloggers do it cuz I, I it's just you know that's not for me I'm more of an observer than than a you know hey look at me drive to the store <laughs> type of person um, Anyways, uh, YouTube's oversaturated with a bunch of pretty girls that, you know, wear cruelty. And I don't wear cruelty, but anyways, I'm just, uh, I'm not about that. I'm just about once in a while just posting something when I got something on my mind. And if I get subs over it, cool. If I don't, cool. I really, I don't, I don't really care. It's not... Now that I'm with somebody I'm completely in love with, like nothing else seems to matter that much. So I don't sweat the small stuff. Um, I don't know. Life is great, dude. And um, I just hope for you all to be as happy as you can be. Go get it, man. Seek it out. If you're in a relationship that sucks, man, fuck it off, man. And, and find find somebody that ha that's just going to love you for all of you and like enhance that and you can enhance who they are and it's just a peas and carrots thing you know 
find your peas and carrots in life and, you know, freaking live, begin to live. Don't live for um, the wrong the wrong reasons. Just live, live happy, man. Live free. Be free. <laughs> yeah. All right. Take care, guys. See you later.